Welcome, in this video we are going to learn about detecting a bright spot using OpenCV library. We are going to learn about object detection and tracking. We will detect object and we will learn how to track objects using color spaces. So first, let's run this python script and let's see what the output result is and later on we will see the code. Let's open the terminal, you can see that I have my image that is retina.png to spot out. Now I'll run my command as python space bright area dot py and pass the argument that is image retina.png and also pass the radius of an image. I know it's pretty much weird, but anyhow, I have written the code in that way. So we'll hit enter. You can see that it's spotting little new image here. Now you see another image generated with robust image for improved spotting. So in this way you can do it for all images you want to detect the bright spots. So one is a new and other is a robust. So now let's see the code behind this one. As you already guessed, the procedure is pretty much simple that is converting it into grayscale and then we'll perform a naive attempt to find xy coordinate of the area of the image with largest intensity value and then we will apply a Gaussian blur to image and then find the brightest region. So let's see it. First we'll type import numpy as np. We'll import the numpy module. It is an open source extension module for python which we already discussed so I'll not say it again. And the new one I'm introducing here is import arg parse. arg parse module, you can say arc parse, makes it easy to write user friendly command line interface. It's not that important to include it, but anyhow, I have included it. And the next one, import cv2. cv2 is a very popular library for computer vision on which our whole object detection section is based on. So now, Let's construct the argument parse and parse the arguments for image file and radius of an image. That is ep equals to arg parse dot argument parser and then parse the argument for image file that is ep dot add argument hyphen i image help equals to part to the image file that is parse the argument for image file and finally the radius of an image which will take the input that is ep dot add argument hyphen r radius type equals to the int help equals to radius of Gaussian blur must be odd args is equal to variable ep dot parse arguments now we have constructed the argument parse and parse the argument for image file and radius of an image in short in simple language we have took the input of image and we took the input of radius. Now next, we'll load the image and convert it to grayscale. That is image equals to cv2 dot am read arguments image or ig equals to image dot copy. We'll make it grayscale. Gray equals to cv2 cvt color image cv2 dot color pgr that is color one to gray. So in this snippet, we have loaded the image and converted it to grayscale. And now we will perform a new attempt to find xy coordinates of an area of an image with largest intensity value. For that, minimum value, maximum value, minimum location, maximum location equals to cv2 dot minimum location in bracket gray cv2 dot circle image max location 5 to 5550002 so here we have just performed a new attempt to find the xy coordinate of the area of the image with the largest intensity value now let's display the result of new attempt of an output image that is cv2 dot i'm show new comma image now we'll apply a Gaussian blur to the image, then find the brightest region. Gray equals to CV2, Gaussian blur, gray, arguments, 
radius dot args radius zero minimum value maximum value minimum location maximum location cv2 dot minimum maximum location gray image equals to or ig copy cv2 dot circle image maximum location arguments radius 255 0 comma 0 comma 2 so this one will apply a Gaussian blur to the image and then find the brightest region now we'll display the result of our newly improved method for spotting the brightest spot it is cv2 i am show robust image so that the image should wait will write cv2 dot weight key 0 now the program is done let's see the output again which i've already seen but anyhow we'll see it again in command we'll type python space bright area dot py and pass the argument as image name retina dot png and also pass the radius of an image now run the command you can see that it's spotting the little new image there the small circle now see another image generating with robust image for improved spotting so like this you can do it for all images you want to detect the spots so that's it in this video on detecting a bright spot using opencv thank you for watching this video